if there's one thing that's sure to put a smile on everyone's face, it's got to be our gorgeous Aussie animals. So I hope you've been stretching out those cheek muscles because today you're in for a real treat. Welcome to Caversham Wildlife Park, home to all of our favourite Aussie icons, plus a few of those scary ones too. A day out here is the perfect place these summer holidays to keep not only the kids entertained, but the adults too. Here to show me around is manager Debbie. Debbie, who do we have here? This is Jessie. She's a bare-nosed wombat, one of our stars of the Meet the Wombat and Friends experience. <laughs> Very popular here Very at Caversham. Very popular. So we're a family owned business. This is our 35th year and we pride ourselves on bringing a, an interactive experience with wildlife uh, to all generations so that they can learn about our, our unique Australian animals. You were saying interactive, so what else can people do here when they visit the wildlife park? For example, the koalas. The koalas, it's a really, really popular uh, thing to do here at the park. Everybody wants to get a photo with a koala, yeah, for sure. And the kangaroos, you can get really up close and personal with them. Feed the kangaroos, yeah, we provide the food. There's some wallabies in there as well. They're always good fun to meet too. So it's not just about, I guess, you know, interacting with the animals and stuff. There is a whole lot um, in terms of conservation here as well at Caversham. Yeah, look, many of our Australian species uh, have a lot of challenges that they are facing in the wild. The wild isn't a safe place for animals these days. So these captive populations are really important in protecting these species for the, for the future. And it's not just about fluffy animals or taking photos. What can people do when families come and visit here? What can they do for the animals? Uh, we have an animal adoption program, uh, which is very popular and around the festive season, very popular as a gift. Uh, people can adopt an animal uh, it gives them, you know, a, a connection with a specific animal when they come to the park. It's really special. Jess yeah. is looking very comfortable there. <laughs> <laughs> Jess, Jessie is one of the animals that can be adopted and, uh, and it certainly helps the park. Yeah, yeah beautiful. Doesn't it, Jess? <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to get up close. Let's start with Aussie icon number one. Make some new friends and hand feed the kangaroos. I think they're living their best life here. Kangaroos can travel up to 65 kilometres an hour, but I don't think you'll have any issue keeping up with them. On to Aussie icon number two. There aren't too many places you can smile with a koala. Whether it's Bluey, Bingo, Chili or Bandit, there's no doubt they'll be enjoying a feed of eucalyptus leaves. Allowing guests to get up close and learn about these guys really helps spread that conservation message about all our native species. Every day at 9.30am, 11am and 2pm, you can meet the wombat and friends. It's where you can take as many photos as you like with Jesse and 20 other Aussie animals hanging around just to meet you. I've only shown you a glimpse of what's on offer at the family owned and run Caversham Wildlife Park. So make sure you pop it on your holiday to-do list this summer.